Red Dead Redemption 2 is looking likely to be set at a time prior to the events that took place in Red Dead Redemption. Those who have played the original will remember that modes of transport were limited to only a few options, such as horseback or travelling in a stagecoach or steam train. Although motorised vehicles and boats were included in the game, there was never an opportunity to travel on them outside of the story, giving players only a small taste of what it was like to travel around in the Wild West. Now, with what we have seen so far in Red Dead Redemption 2 from the trailer and screenshots, modes of transport look to be expanding and increasing in variety and diversity. But what exactly could and should we expect to see in this upcoming title from Rockstar Games? The announcement trailer which released back in October 2016 teased the possibility of boats and canoes becoming part of the free roam experience. Up till now we have seen one dynamic image of two people in a canoe, meaning we may see water transportation for multiple characters, which will be good news for the multiplayer mode. We have previously seen in Red Dead Redemption a steamboat which brings John Marston across Flatiron Lake to Blackwater, and additionally the Serendipity, which by the time the game takes place is nothing more than a partially sunken wreck. If the leaked map proves to be correct and we indeed return to West Elizabeth and the Flatiron Lake in Red Dead Redemption 2, then it would be great to see both these steamboats fully operational and available for use in free roam. If canoes and small boats are purchasable either in story mode, multiplayer or both, I hope we will see a good mix of options which all feature sufficient levels of customization. It is possible there will also be water transport that can only be used for the transportation of items rather than people. Less surprising is the return of a wide variety of horses, wagons and stagecoaches. No details are yet confirmed on the number of people that may travel in a stage coach, but images of the game indicate at least four, including the driver, may be seated at any one time. It would be nice to see a much more dynamic system introduced for horse performance, so the stamina and strength may change over time. From screenshot analysis, it has also been determined that we will have more options when it comes to equipping the horse, as we have seen leather saddlebags, but also alternatives such as fur. With wagons and stagecoaches, the possibility still remains for deep customization, giving players the option to expand them and add more seats and change the look of the vehicle both on the interior and exterior. We have also seen wagons designed purely for freight. In this scene, the wagon is used for transporting barrels, and seats just one person. Rockstar have also confirmed in the trailer and screenshots that we will once again have the luxury of train travel at our disposal. The railroad, with steam locomotives of course, was still the dominant mode of transportation in the American West at the time Red Dead Redemption was set in 1911, and trains played a major role in the game. Now in this earlier time period, will we see a less developed railroad ecosystem? We have only seen one type of steam train so far, which seems to be a more detailed and developed version of the locomotive we saw in the previous game. The first carriage looks like it will act as a way for players to easily embark and disembark, maybe even at non-designated locations, i.e. places other than stations. The return of trains also keeps me hopeful for the introduction of a much requested feature, train robberies, but I'll talk more about these in another video. At this moment in time, we think that the game is set at least a decade before the events of Red Dead Redemption, putting the time period at late 19th century slash turn of the century. Although motorised vehicles such as cars started making an appearance in the USA during the 1890s, it took some time for them to make their way to the Wild West. Because of this, I think it unlikely that we will see any cars included in the game. However, the leaked map indicates Red Dead Redemption 2 may be set partially in the city of New Bordeaux, which would be Rockstar's reimagining of the city of New Orleans. Back in the 1890s, citizens got around on bicycles and even rode the streetcar, which was first introduced to the city back in 1835. The streetcar acts as a passenger railway fully integrated into the streets of the city and was pulled by horses at the time. Electric streetcars and trams were not introduced until 1893, so depending on how historically accurate Rockstar choose to be, we may see these included in the game too. So there's a first look at some of the main modes of transportation we could expect to see in Red Dead Redemption 2. What are you most looking forward to trying out when you get your hands on the game? Do you think we might see some other modes of transport as well? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video then drop a like, and if you are new to the channel then make sure to consider subscribing for more future content like this. But with that, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one Outlaws.